Okay, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some products by Taibei, which are available in the shop at silverscalesflytying.co.uk. This is ghost hair, a very fine material. I've got some out of the packet here. As you can see it's very very soft, sort of almost a, a craft fur type texture. It's very translucent. It's also got almost a natural shine and sparkle to it. That's the white. And there's some bright green. Okay. I'm also going to be using saltwater flash hair from Side Bay. It's a packet. And that's a it's sort of a wing and flash type material. It's very fine fibres to create the bulk in it. And lots and lots of flash blended in. I really like this material and again available in the shop. Okay so this is kind of a freestyle tie. I like to freestyle from time to time. Just get some materials and see what happens. So I'm as much in the dark as you are about exactly what I'm going to tie. So I'm going to lay down a thread base using some white UTC 140 thread so I'm going to lay down a base to the bend and I'm just going to come back a little bit okay what I'm going to do is take some of the saltwater flash hair for the tail of the fly and take a bunch for the tail So, snip it off. I'm just going to take the ends and just put a little bit of a taper in, just pull out the centre fibres so you end up with a little bit of a taper, like so. Okay, so I'm going to tie this in. Sort of that sort of length. Okay. There we go. Take off the excess. Like so. Okay, so we've got a tail on the fly, so it'd be a nice flashy tail with lots of movement in the water, like so. Okay, now I'm going to take a bit more of the flash hair, but slightly less, and this time I'm going to tie a bit in on the top but I'm going to reverse tie it in <coughs> excuse me okay so take a slightly thinner piece than the first piece so I'm going to tie it in the opposite way around I'm going to tie it in facing the eye of the hook. That's on the top of the shank. I'm going to turn the hook around and do the same on the bottom. 
This is going to help give a little bit of bulk and shape to the fly. Get a bit of a taper in. Same length roughly as the, the first piece. two pieces and fold them back split the bottom piece around the thread now instead of tying it down I'm just going to make a if you can see this I'm going to make a little dam just in front just in front of the the material so I'm actually wrapping the thread on the shank of the hook and I'm forming, just building it up slightly more at the back to make a little, a little cone shape and that's a thread dam and that, so I've not actually tied the material down and you can see it sort of gives it a nice profile keeps the fly hollow and easy to cast okay so I'm going to move on to the ghost hair now for the rest of the fly as I say I'm completely freestyling this this is just off the cuff not really work into a plan so I'm going to take a piece of ghost hair about so big this is the bright pink and I'm going to reverse tie this in like so I'll turn the fly over and I'm going to take some of the white take another just a small bunch don't need a lot with this material it does have quite a bit of volume to it it's a very fine translucent material just tie that in okay back around the other way fold the pink the green back and fold the white back there you go and again I'm just going to make a thread dam in front of the material just to hold it in place So, so we've got so far. Look, not looking too bad. And I'm going to do the same again. Take a piece of the ghost hair. Maybe a slightly thicker piece. Just coming up to the head. So we want the head. Have a reasonable profile. A little bit more, I think. Yeah. Too much. about right. So we'll tie this piece in. Again facing the eye of the hook. Okay. And 
I'll take another piece of white again, slightly, it's just a tiny bit thicker than the the first piece we tied in. Okay, like so. You can add a bit of glue as you go through these stages if you want for extra security. I'm not bothering because I'm just demonstrating how to tie the fly. Although I've got faith in my wraps not to come undone. Okay, so we're just forming a little dam there. Again, now you'll see we've gone almost up to the eye of the hook there, but I'm still going to squeeze another piece of material in. Okay, so you can see there's lots of material left. We've used very little. You really don't need to use too much with this material. It's an excellent material for creating some bulk, but keeping the fly nice, nice and light. Okay, again, slightly thicker piece. Okay, so we're going to squeeze that right on the eye of the hook. It's just enough space to get a thread wrap in there. And the same with the white, lots of white left. Look, you should get several flies from one piece of material. it good value okay so got our pieces of material in just push it back a little bit and then you can just squeeze some thread wraps right in the front So, just build a nice little thread down there. Okay. Find your whip finisher in the mess on the table. There we go. Just tease the thread wraps down. Okay, there we go. There, you can see we've got a nicely shaped fly. I just need to add some eyes. Right. You can see I've popped some eyes on there. See the profile of the fly. Got a nice, quite a long fly, about five inches, four and a half, five inches nice lean profile so you could use it in salt water and um, also for pike and other predators so that's tying with the side bay ghost hair and the salt water flash hair and the eyes are also by side bay well, I hope that gave you an insight in how to use the material. As I say, that was completely freestyled. Didn't really work to a plan. But we've got quite a nice looking fly there. Hope you enjoyed the video.